these energies are not new to you. Initially, they may feel new to you. But you will move through that stage very quickly. As you open to receive the restoration of the balance of your heart consciousness, the balance of your body consciousness, and its integration with your mind. It is a dance. It is a process. We choose the word dance. For it need not be painful. It need not feel disjointed. It need not feel tiring. It is only through resistance that these symptoms may appear in your experience of adapting to the rest of yourself. It is time. The opportunity is here for you to actualize what you have been saying that you want for most of you that are listening to this audio. You see, the waiting, the theorizing, the pontifications about spirituality and about these times and about other intelligences other than human, most of these explorations at this stage, at this timing, are distractions. Ask yourself, are you showing up in the moment to reconnect with your source, to reconnect with what is present now in a field of love? Or are you telling stories about it? You are physical beings, so naturally there is the attention to being physical in a physical world. And this is primarily repetitive, based on what you were taught that you should do, what you were taught in how to be, how to receive currency, how to socialize with your identities, how to be spiritual, how to be good parents, how to be a good family member, community member. But do you see, the madness that you are experiencing in the outer world right now is the amplification of your loops of consciousness, the things that you continue to repeat without consciousness for the most part. Many of you are having moments now of snapping out of the loop and your head rises above the loop and, and you glance over your shoulders and down and up and, and you realize you're in a loop. And because no one is telling you how to feel and what to do in that flash, in that moment, you simply slip back into the looping because that's what everybody else is doing. We are saying that if you are one of these humans now who, who has popped out of a loop, one quick suggestion would be to say out loud, 
I'm noticing now that I am lucid and I'm aware that I'm looping in conditioned behavior and methodologies and it is connected to revenue and love streams from the world. So you pop out and you make this out loud statement. I recognize that I am lucid right now. And I ask to receive, to see, to perceive now what life, both individually and collectively, can look like outside of the loop or beyond the loop. We are saying that if you give yourselves that moment of lucidity and speak from the place of awareness of being the one who has been looping and also being the one who knows and trusts in love, in greater experiences of love on earth. Be truthful. Honesty, innocence in these moments will blow open the doors for you to begin to adapt to what may initially feel foreign, but you do push through that quickly if the attention is, is present. And you will begin to receive more and more and more understanding and anchoring of the balance of your consciousness. We do not hype this up as the return of the Divine Feminine, but it is. But it is not to be over-dramatized, for it is simply, very frankly, it has been the energies, the balance of your consciousness that has been purposely conditioned out of you. For it was not welcome, this awareness of your universal soul self, your capacities for feeling and knowing all that you need to know in any given moment, your capacities to build together in communities, your capacities to create beyond what you were taught, beyond the, the smaller bandwidth of what is acceptable to create, but to find your balance, find your own heart, integrate the feminine and get on with being who you were designed to be. And you will not need this voice or any voice like it once this occurs. For you will be whole, and you will remember your wholeness, and you will act from this place. We may join you in community and in creative projects, but in most cases, we are you. So it would be rather humorous for you to restore your balance, to restore the feminine, and begin practicing this fusion, this integration in your everyday lives. It would be humorous to need to go speak to a channel and ask them questions about your, your choices in life. You will have all that you need within your consciousness as you were designed. And for many, it is difficult to imagine what that might feel like and look like. And that is all right, for you will discover this on your own 
and in communities, if you choose. This is not magic fairy dust that falls from the sky and makes this happen to you. This requires an invitation, a conscious invitation that you choose to be whole once again. You choose to make this leap in consciousness and to trust even though you do not know, you do not have the framing for it, which is what you expect in your old lives. You expect to be given the framework and then you make a choice in your three-dimensional perspective. In this environment that you are stepping into and will grow from this point forward, you are trusting that you will know in any given moment what you need to know. You may have an inspiration to build or create or to act upon passion and inspiration that you had not previously been able to imagine from more of the virtual reality experience you have been in, you will get to discover and practice how to implement, how to co-create. This is where you are now. Understand that there are humans on the earth now who are making this transition and practicing this. They are usually judged even at this point in time. They are seen as strange, crazy, mentally ill. This is what it appears to be when one is in the loop. Once one begins to expand their lucid corridor into the more of who they are, they begin to see and appreciate these others who have been previously labeled as crazy. Now, there are certainly illnesses within the bandwidth. Illnesses that have been referred to as mentally ill and have reached the body level where there is evidence of the imbalance. In a lot of cases, you will find that these individuals can move past this label rather quickly if given permission to be more of who they are. So you are all arriving on this threshold in, in your own ways. And no matter the background story of how you arrived on the threshold, the opportunity is present to simply speak the truth of what you are feeling, even if it is fear. Speak the truth about your feelings of fear, anxiety, I don't know anything. I don't know what's next. I don't know how to do this. And I want to. I want to expand. I want to remember all of who I am. And I want to practice it in my body on earth and with earth. With all of the natural world. This is the shift. So you all arrive on this platform in your own ways, honor this and be respectful to all stories, all backstories of how you arrive on this threshold. And then practice being present for moving forward in these greater energies and capacities. In these times, 
be grateful, appreciative, and honoring of those human beings who are willingly moving forward with these energies. Support them. Recognize that even though you may not feel ready to step into lucidity and fullness, be supportive of those who are. For this is an example of leadership, courage, levels of courage that you have not been witness to in your lives prior. So recognize courage in others and encourage it. For you are all connected and the more that step forward to embrace the fullness, truly the easier it becomes for those following. You will feel it in your bodies, your hearts, your heads. You will feel love, levels of love and power and grace that you had never experienced prior to. There is no reference for most of you within your consciousness, within your bodies, for this shift. So, hearing the reports of those who have come before will serve you. So that when one says, it felt all-consuming, and I felt fear because it was so large, and I did not think that I could process it, but then I felt a voice inside my heart say, you are here in love and all is well. Move with it. Breathe. Notice when you resist or try to stop the expansion does get more painful. Instead, ask to move more slowly, that you choose to move and expand, but please slow it down or help me, help me to expand into it. Hold me, be with me, and I embrace this. So understand that, again, it is not happening to you. It is through your invitation, and you can communicate how you choose to do it. Now, one can prepare for this in ways of healing in certain modalities that already exist in your world. As we have mentioned and shared the trauma therapies are quite useful in releasing a lot of the wounding that could cause more pain in the process of expansion. So there are ways that you can prepare. And understand, too, that these modalities are expanding as we speak. There are new modalities quite regularly, so... Keep an eye open and a heart open for what resonates, for releasing the past and allowing more presence in your heart, consciousness. For that is truly what has blocked the feminine in the past. It is not appreciated. It is judged. It is abused. It is considered to be less than and know that all of these perceptions have been intentionally conditioned from your experience so that you may be better performers in business for the system. So there is a great deal of wounding that can occur 
around these misunderstandings. All of this must go for you to open the crucible, to welcome the balance of your energetics, the balance of yourselves. Each one of you must come to this awareness on your own. You may have help and support and to read the authentic experience of others will inspire. And it is between you and your Creator in the moment of expansion and remembrance. And it is glorious. Be present. Be willing. Be joyful. For you are consciously stepping into freedom, power, truth. And then you shall be it in your world if you choose. And this experience of joy in creativity cannot be placed in words. You get to experience this directly if you choose.